Hey guys, James Grandstaff here, and today I'd like to show you this cool brainstorming tool that uh, Frank Kern told me about. And what it allows you to do is get your ideas onto the screen. So what you do is go to bubbl.us and you simply just create an account. So what I'm going to do, you don't actually have, actually, you know what, I take that back. You don't have to create an account. You could just click start brainstorming here. But I found it useful to create an account because you get to save your work. So I'm going to log in and show you what I'm talking about. If you can see over here, let me slide this over, you can see all sorts of different sheets that I have working on. So just for fun, I'm going to load one of these sheets just to give you a quick little sneak peek at what I'm talking about here. Loading, loading, come on, there we go. All right. So here's this mind map, or this uh, brainstorming flowchart, if you will. And I'm just kind of mapping out my next project. Okay, but here's what's cool. Uh, let me get rid of this one. We're going to click on New. And I'm going to show you how this basically works. For right here, you would just type in your uh, central topic, or the main, main topic. And then you can either click Tab or Enter, as you see here. If you click Tab, it gives you a new child, creates a new child bubble. And there you are. Main topic, subtopic. Oh, and see that? I just hit Enter, and it actually brought one down below. So if I wanted to add something down here, I can do that. But I'm going to delete that one for now and just work with these two. And you just kind of highlight this section here, and you can move your bubbles around. So what you can do here is highlight this little corner here, bring this over, and now you connect a little arrow. Again, hit tab again, get yourself another bubble. Subtopic two. And you can do the kind of the same thing. I liked to use this, as you can see on the, dem the one that I showed you a minute ago, I like to do it to kind of f uh, get the flow chart out. Now, there's other to kind of just map out a whole process that my users will go through in this next project that I'm working on. Now, I'm going to show you real quick a different software uh, called Mind Manager, and it's a little bit different, but it has some useful stuff too. But before I get to that one, let me finish over here. The cool thing about this, bubble.us, is this Friends tab here. You can go over here and click on Friends. And you can add your friends to this list. Then what you do is, where are we going to go back to your sheets, highlight one of them, you click sharing. And what you can do is, where did it go? You want to invite, there we go. First you send, uh, if you want to work on a project together with a friend, you click here to invite them by email, plug in their email address, hit submit. They get an email to basically create a free bubble.us account. Once they do that, they will end up in your friends list. Then you come over to My Sheets. Click on the one you want to share, the, the, the project that you want to share. Click Sharing, and then you'll see all your friends' names in here. You can either give them just, uh, if you click the sunglasses, that means they can just read it, read only, or you can click the pen icon or the pencil icon, and they'll also be able to edit it. And then all you do is hit Submit, boom, you're done. Now, your friend simply logs into their account and clicks on Collaborate, and they will see the sheet that they get to look at. So they would just click on, let's say, the Downline Secrets 3, sheet boom and then the whole sheet would appear they can see what you're working on and if you give them click access or um, uh, full access they can actually edit it and change it so you can actually work with another person on your same concept if you have a partner that you're trying to you know brainstorm ideas with uh, this will allow you guys to share on the same exact uh, flow chart mind map whatever you want to call it so that's pretty cool. That's what I basically do every time I start a project, which I kind of wanted to talk about uh, this big thing that's been going on the past couple days, <clears throat> excuse me, with butterfly marketing. Let's pretend you get the butterfly marketing software, you get your website set up. Uh, you might want to map out, for instance, 
product launch. You might want to map out your actual product creation if you're doing something kind of elaborate. So what I've done over here with a different software, you can use Bubble.us, that's cool, but I also used one called MindJet Mind Manager Pro. And that's what you're looking at here. And I used this software just because it had some little different things. I wasn't trying to so much do like a flow chart per se, as just kind of wanted to keep track of things. So this also has some really cool features. The downside is MindJet Manager is $300 or uh, Mind Manager Pro is $300. But it does have some cool things too, such as you'll see these little check marks here. If I uncheck this one, and it kind of lets you keep track. Uh, you just keep clicking it, and it kind of lets you keep track of your progress for, let's say, finish the members area. And then it lets you expand and do all sorts of cool things here. So this one's very cool as well, uh, but Bubble.us is free. You can start using it right away, and you can share it with your outsource people or friends or whoever you're trying to your mastermind team whoever you're trying to work with uh, to put something uh, you know to put up a collaborative project together so that's cool hope you enjoyed this short video and uh, if you haven't picked up butterfly marketing um, you can you have like two days left to pick it up for free go ahead and do that and uh, start mapping out your uh, first butterfly marketing site using one of these two tools so that's it take care